Yo, what's up? This is your boy Mace from Self Made Athletes here. And man, oh man, last year was one hell of a ride. We're well into 2021 now, but I'm not gonna lie, things don't exactly feel a whole lot different this year. And even with 2020 in the rear view mirror, I hate to say this, but I suspect that it's gonna be another year of us grappling with our pandemic woes. With so many cities still in lockdown, traveling might be off the table for a while, which leaves many of us stuck here at home. And if there's one thing that I've noticed throughout the cycles of the lockdowns that I've been in throughout the last year, it's that people and myself included seem to be more focused and aware of their health. We're trying to find different ways to stay active and some of us are really taking this downtime to dig deep and understand our own health and how to optimize it. Some of us can't bear the thought of being separated from the iron, so we look to up our workout game at home by building some kind of setup. And alternatively, Zoom calls are now a thing, so why don't we just jump onto a virtual workout that the studio gym provides? Oh, you beautiful people. All right, cool. So let's get a head start. Awesome work, guys. April, keep your legs. I've actually hosted some of them as a coach of F45. They're great for you to just move around and get back into the swing of things. And I appreciate that some of the flats here in Hong Kong aren't that big, but honestly, you don't need a lot of space. And while some cities are very fortunate uh, to not be in complete lockdown, for these peeps, the most inexpensive way to stay active is spending time outdoors. And I get it, you know, not all wellness seekers are looking to lift heavy ass weights. Some of us just want to look into the basics, the fundamentals of health, like rebooting our diets or making healthier nutritional food choices. Others look to start taking some vitamins and uh, minerals to boost our immune systems. And others are looking to cook more at home. I've created videos on both of these topics. You can check them out right here. But whatever that reason might be, we're still making small changes to foster healthier day-to-day -day life uh, styles in today's manic COVID-19 situation. And now if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I work out a lot. But it wasn't until I started dating my girlfriend that I started becoming more and more interested in yoga and meditation. And I'm your typical weightlifter, you know? I'm super inflexible and I always have this mindset of me falling asleep while I meditate. And it was in this practice that I learned how to focus on being in the present moment. And I followed her lead, I was able to close my eyes, clear out all the noise, and focus my attention on exactly what I was doing. But there was a reoccurring question that I kept asking myself. How well do I really know myself? And not just on a fitness level, but my overall health and wellness. And something that's always intrigued me when this question popped up was, given my baseline genes that make me who I am, does this affect my ability to perform in the gym? And are there certain supplements that my body requires that I currently don't have or I'm lacking, which might be hindering my potential? And so last year I did an at-home DNA test and I shared some of my results and my reports with you guys. You can watch that video right here if you've missed it. But since then, I've used these reports as a baseline or a benchmark to understand what my body is capable of, how I can potentially optimize my training, what kind of foods I might be sensitive to, which I kind of already had an idea, but it's always nice to have an affirmation, and what my body needs more of in order to prepare it for the strenuous workload I put it through. And at the time of making that video, they had just come out with a new line called Circle Premium. From then till now, we've seen some wild things happen in 2020. And a lot of that has to deal with our health. So many of us are more and more interested in learning how to beat the curve. And what better way to do that than to start from the ground up and truly understand what our bodies are capable of. And so today, I'm gonna to be giving you another review on Circle's latest DNA test kit. And when I say latest, I mean it's been out for a while, okay? I'm just giving a comparison review uh, and the inside scoop of what Circle's premium test kit has to offer. These test kits are now in these sleek white and black boxes and different colors represent different types of tests. Today, we're gonna go for the top of the line test kit that they offer, which are in these clean black boxes with gold print saying premium on them. Now, Circle came out with these and it wasn't just a simple redesign of their box. It's marketed as the world's most comprehensive DNA test, hands down, and you can get over 500 different reports in 20 different categories that are specifically related to your health. 
115 are related to cancer and disease reports, uh, which go into like brain health, um, disease risks, uh, drug responses, and then you've got like 60 reports that go into diet and nutrition, and of course, you've got your fitness and wellness reports all built into that. But it also covers uh, some pretty interesting topics like hereditary conditions, uh, family planning, there's this really cool one like stress, sleep, skin analysis, and then there's some more that are tailored specifically to you as an individual, which are based off of ancestry, um, personality, behavior, success traits, which all uncover more information so that you get to know yourself better. You also get a one-to-one -one consultation with a genetics trained health professional so that they can go over your report with you. And these tests are validated to have 99.9% .9 accuracy by the Croucher Laboratory Human Genomics. I mean, everything always sounds better on paper, right? It's hard for me to be the one to pass judgment on whether this is a top-notch DNA test kit um, that can actually offer you some valuable information on how to optimize your overall health, no matter what your fitness goals might be. But for me personally, I love how Circle gives you so much information on who you really are in all these different types of reports. And don't get me wrong, I know what's going through your mind right now because I had the exact same questions. How many of these reports am I actually gonna even read into and how much of that new information or all this information can I actually absorb, understand and use to my benefit? Well, let's get right into it, we'll find out. Tests are back in and here are the results. There are a few topics that I really want to highlight and go over in these reports, which I find are interesting. One is the vital reports it's related to your diet, your exercise, your nutrition. Then comes the health reports, your common health risks, cancers, common diseases. Last but not least, I want to talk about stress and sleep. Let's just dive right in. Let's take a quick look. So let's take a look at diets. Oh, interesting. So for diet, um, alcohol sensitivity is the same. Caffeine actually normalized. I used to be high sensitivity. Um, fats. Fat sensitivity, carb. Oh, carbs stayed the same. Yep, lactose intolerance. Well, oh, this is spot on because I can eat spicy, but I'm quite sensitive to it. And I have a major sweet tooth, so this is this is on point. Um, and I still need to eat a bunch of cruciferous uh, vegetables and kind of greens to help me keep my toxins uh, in, in check. So overall, diet looks about the same, but it actually changed from low carb to Mediterranean. So over the course of the last year, um, you know, based on maybe my activity levels and things like that, things have changed from low carb to Mediterranean, which is quite interesting. Um, just going into maybe nutrition. Okay. So this breaks down like all of the um, vitamins and minerals that uh, the body might need. I take my multivitamins, so you'll see that the, the vitamins are pretty normal. Antioxidants is a good one as well. I, I don't really take much antioxidants. Um, so having some specific fruits or any, any additional antioxidants just to flush out of the body would be quite good. So if you click into it, it actually breaks it down like based on your genes, what you need, why you need it, and then it kind of goes through what happens if, if you don't have enough. So. Um, they actually break it down even further and and based off of those results they tell you what like they give you recommendations on what is good um, good sources of it let's see let's scroll over and see what else there is there's some scientific details so back it up with some some genes related to those recommendations so that's quite interesting they did that um, in the previous one uh, in the previous interface as well but just not as nice Let's see what this is well-being appetite control bone density 
So this this goes more into you know, your your physical body, uh, which is quite interesting. They they've added a few more components, so it kind of breaks down um, results once again into scientific details. Which is quite nice to see. Everything's average or normal for me, which is quite good to see. Hopefully, you know, long life longevity is always good. Inflammation response. Inflammation response used to be quite um, normal to high for me. That's that's normalized. Scrolling across stress and sleep. This is this is a tough one for me. So I I'm getting average sleep, but um, I have to admit I sleep less than less than seven hours a day. But throughout the day, I might take a few naps here and there. So. Um, I'll sleep anywhere from five to six hours, um, and then maybe one or two hour power naps here and there. Um, so definitely need a little bit more more sleep um, just to help out. And once again, guys, I've talked about this before, right? Um, you'll definitely need sleep to help with your recovery. I don't really look into skin that much, but sunburn risk is high, and that's a hundred percent true. Like I burn to the crisp um, if I'm out in the sun without any sunscreen. I mean, it's true for anyone, but for me specifically, I'm really white based. Um, and so, you know, I've got to slather myself with a bunch of sunscreen before going out into talents and sports. Taking a little longer. All right, so high power, low endurance, high strength. Wow, okay, so they've actually introduced a new component here um, it only used to be power and endurance I believe so now they've split it into thirds so this was my last results and um, just comparing the two you'll see power was 75 endurance was 25 and so now that's increased 80 20 which is which is interesting to see um, obviously the body's always evolving always changing so um, seeing this kind of stuff is, is very, very interesting to me. Cool. Let's see what the success rates is about. Oh, okay. Wow. This, this taps into the mind a little bit. IQ. Oh, I'm just normal. Damn. Sometimes you'd think, or you'd wish you were a bit smarter, weren't you? But the DNA test tells you, nope, you're just normal. How about EQ? Excellent. All right. No, this is, this is cool. Uh, I'm really, really liking this this new DNA kind of report. It, it just goes into so much um, detail about who you are. And then, so I scored normal for everything else um, in the in the trait in the trait section. So if you know, um, TikTok was a big thing, you know, 2019, 2020. Um, and you know, I, your boy did some dancing and, and some stuff like that. It says here that I'm gifted in dancing. I wouldn't say I'm gifted. I wouldn't say I'm gifted, but uh, this is cool. Like I've, I've always found some interest in dancing and just moving with rhythm so um, this is this is this is nice to see all right ancestry okay understanding your results all right let's see let's see what my what my background might be oh man that looks that's like 90% Asian Interesting. All right, so I'm a ninety, like ninety-three percent East Asian. So I'm eighty-five percent Chinese, and then there's like a mix here. Seven point nine seven percent Japanese and Korean. Well, there you go. I love Vietnamese food, so this six percent doesn't surprise me. However, I love Thai food as well, and mm, only one point four two percent, zero percent for all the other stuff, which is fine. So no doubt, wow, that's cool. This is cool. So I've never done an ancestry um, test before. I just always assumed I was 100% Chinese because uh, my parents are from from 
Hong Kong, and so it's Chinese all the way. But um, that's interesting to see the breakdown. Let's see, what personality traits are agreeableness, likely balance. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I'm not gonna go through everything. Let's see, common health risks. Ooh, elevated high cholesterol. This so this runs in my family. This is good to know. Um, I mean, it's easy to tell when it runs in the family, but when when the report tells you like, hey, you, you're gonna be at higher risk, always keep an eye out for it. Um, and you know, this older DNA or fit DNA, DNA fit didn't tell me kind of these little things. Um, this was the basic package. This time around, I got the premium, and it goes through all this kind of stuff. So, you know, average for obesity, stroke, diabetes. This one I probably look out for as well, just because it runs in the family. Um, but you know, everything else is 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 average except for high cholesterol. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. If I have a cough, it's kind of like a nagging cough. It takes me a while to get rid of it. And so my genes definitely say that, like it's always been in the back of my mind, but I don't know what the disease is. I don't know, um, you know, what's causing it. And so this is, this breaks it down perfectly. I don't smoke though, which is not a, not a cause for me. So I'm not sure if it's the pollution um, that, you know, makes it worse, um, especially here in Hong Kong, the city's so dense, pollution just everywhere, people are smoking, you got cars and, and stuff like that. But um, this is this is super interesting. So yeah, again, it breaks it down into scientific details. Um, and then if I go back to the other page, it tells you how to reduce it. So this is super cool. In the meantime, Circle Premium DNA test kits have passed through many hands from like celebrity endorsers to regular peeps like myself and it's pretty damn good. I mean, the company has been super reactive to the whole COVID situation. You can even get tested for a diagnosis of COVID from home with their project screening um, testing initiative that they have. But I just feel like this kit kind of covers your overall umbrella of topics that you might be interested in. So to tackle the biggest question mark that most people have after receiving the results is what does this all mean for me, right? Um, the reports are going to throw a bunch of information at you and some of it you might already know about your health or your physical history, but it's also going to unravel and shed light on some new topics, some new knowledge about who you really are. And I would say overall, Circle Premium does a fantastic job of laying out your gene blueprint, making sure that you're aware of all the little ins and outs and the details. And it's up to you as the user to make a kind of change to help better yourself. And knowledge is power if it is used correctly um, and you don't ignore the red flags that are presented in front of you. There you have it guys. That's a quick rundown um, in my experience with Circle's latest DNA home test kit. I personally think it's a great investment to get to know yourself better. Uh, the basic vital kits cover a lot of the bases um, just so you have an understanding of where your health is currently. It provides you with 125 reports. And if you opt for the end of the spectrum premium one here, you get, once again, 500 plus reports, basically um, deep diving into your entire health and well-being. And you should keep an eye out on their website and join their newsletters because Circle always have promotions going on. That's all I have for you guys on this review. I hope you found it useful. If you did, help your boy out by hitting the like button below. Let me know in the comment sections if there's anything else you guys might be interested in. And subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.